What's up, YouTube? Uzumaki Khan here. Welcome to chapter 1058. Live reaction of that One Piece. Yo, let's go, dudes. Wano is officially over, dudes. What a satisfying end it was as well. So, dudes, this is a brand new arc, right? The name of the arc, I have no idea. But I'm sure bit with uh, chapters, I'll eventually find out, right? But at this present stage, I have no idea where we're going. Lord, kid, and Luffy are all going to the separate destinations, but they never said exactly what the island's called. So at this stage, I'm meant to be clueless, right? Let's go, dudes. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> One thousand and fifty-eight. Come on. Pop. Don't have to be worried about titles now. But oh, boys! So now we know for sure we're going to see him in Gear 5 one more time, right? By the time I'm up to date. Look how beautiful that is, though. Man, what an arc was one, though, fam. Absolutely loved it, you know, fam. Man, we are lucky to read, watch such an arc. Caesar, from last chapter, from last chapter, and much excursion, taking me with you, getting me out of here. He is crying in it. <laughs> he wants to bounce. You're dead wounded, though. Then again, you are fighting my boy Kakuri fam. We're not gonna be getting no massage. And oven. Take me with you. Get me out of here. Chapter 1058. See, the title would have been here. Yeah, Salute to Tyrell fam. Here we go, boys. <laughs> the ship sails away from the land of Wano. I repeat, the ship sails away from the land of Wano and onward in the direction the log, the log poles points. You are not fit to be captain! My man just defeated a Yanko! Poor respect to my fucking emperor! You're not fit to be a captain? Ah! They pull him in prison! I'm sorry, Sabi! <laughs> you know the straw hats are back! You know we are back! I'm sorry you put all of our lives at risk with that stunt. Stunt. When the ship, when, uh, what they did with Kid, when they shut down. Emperor of the sea. Let that sink in, boys. And the Emperor of the Sea, they has been treated like this. But then again, this is why we love it, right? I mean, the unique type of relationships we all have. Like any other Emperor here, right, will bloody begin giving army the back foot. But this is the straw hats. Like, Emperor or not, you will still be treated the way you've always been treated with the army, with the others. And you, know, you put all of our lives at risk with that stunt. Ah, uh, you can't be this stupid. Sorry, ah, uh, you can't be this stupid. He lost. Well, we are all fine now. It wasn't... Look at this boy, Jinbei fam. It just read the ringing bells now. He came to Wano to assist. We have never seen him in our ship just chilling. Now we are. Officially a member fam. I know it was officially before. But look, now it's really like the stamp approval. Well, we're all fine now. It wasn't such a big fall. He is backing up the case of Luffy. Don't cuddle him, Jinbei. <laughs> now Jinbei is going to feel Nami's wrath. Ain't it? It feels like Nami's the one that's captain here. Look at her flames. And Jinbei is scared. Now Jinbei must be thinking, F this man, me become the straw house of mistake. It was a mistake. 
Yeah, my man, they got him locked up, yo! Like he's some flipping slave! Was that Supreme King? Conquerors! There! The lightning! I never spotted it! Surely this is a troll, right? That comedic scene! Or oh, is this foreshadowing something for future episode chapters? Nami conquers Haki. See, if I seen this first in an anime, I would have thought like, okay, I could just like not think too deep of it. Now it's in manga. Was that Supreme King's Haki? Stay back, boss. Never confront her. Just trust me. Trust me. If One Piece taught you one thing, it's that. Never confront a raging Nami. Did you see how the sunny hand? Look at that. Look how he's so fixated on just the magnificent, the work he's done on the Mary. Not Mary, it's the sunny in it they're all worried about oh man we almost died frankie's like yo fam did you see how stable the sunny is all that height and just one broken yard you can't be serious over this man is still asleep chopper brook thank you huh Oh. oh, it's time, it's time, the bird, the newspapers, we have new bounties, let us see it, we know Luffy's right, we don't know anyone else's, Luffy's the same as Lou and kids right, yeah, we have new bounty posters, Oh, Robin, let me see. Emperor of the Sea, Straw Hat Luffy, leader of the 5,600 man Straw Hat fleet, and his nine senior officers. <laughs> I like the way that the title that Emperor of the Sea, Monkey D's Luffy, leader of the 5,600 man Straw Hat fleet and his nine senior officers are wanted for the following bounties. No! <laughs> Luffy, three billion, show us. Ship Dr. Chopper, the cotton candy lover pet. Did mine go up this time? Oh, come on, bounty! One thousand berries! <laughs> Fan! That's pennies! That's pennies! That's what you get for taking ten years to figure out how to make the remedy for the ice on his shit! That's what you get! One thousand berries? Increase of nine hundred? Increase, I'm sorry, obviously, this man was big, but it was a hundred. Then again, that is still a lot. In it, a boost of 900. Your older needs to stop. Stop this animal cruelty. <laughs> man got 1,000 babies, you know, fam. Navigator, cat, burglar, and army. She looks shocked. Nine digits? Can I collect 366 million pennies? She's on the way to half a bill. Let's go. Musician Soul King Brook. He laughs, sings. Yeah, 383 million pennies. More than army fam. Shipwright Cyborg Frankie, hey, what gives? Where am I? Huh? You don't even see Frankie! You see our ship! 
the 300 is going higher, higher, isn't it? In it from a thousand to three six six to three eight three to three nine three. Look, they don't put Frankie on the poster. They put his hard work on the poster. His hard work is what the sunny sniper got us up. He can't believe it. No more stop. Ah! It's up. It's up. Five hundred million babies. Let's go! Let go! No way! He's more than Frankie. Frankie than the superplex on Big Mom. And I don't even think about it. Frankie done a lot of horror shit in uh, Wano. Especially when he had the blueprint of Pluton too. Okay, Ali. Yo, fam, I'm calling this now. But what is important? This should be a bill. A bill, fam. Or oh, at least eight, nine hundred mil. I'm calling it. Archaeologist demon child Nico Robin. Today, cheer up. He's too upset because of the thousand bellies. They pound She's almost there. She's almost there. 930 mil! It should come as no surprise! She was wanted so bad in Wano! 930 million berries! Cook black like Sanji! There's the pill! There's the pill! There's the pill! The billion range! Black leg Sanji. One billy, one, one bill. Oh, it's over a bill. Jinbe, Jinbe is over a bill. So Zovo's gonna be the highest in it on the Luffy. 1.1 bill. That's just about higher than Sanji's. The Zovo, Master Swordsman Pirate Hunter Zovo. One billion one hundred and eleven. Fam, it's just about bigger than Jimbe. But the whole three over a billion berries. She come on, no surprise. If she's 930, and these guys fought the commanders of Kaido. Ain't it? And Jinbei, you can see why he's so much. Why am I beneath him? You look at me, he's like he turned into a Lunarian. <laughs> like he turned into a Lunarian, fam. Why am I beneath him? You too, Jinbei? Are you feeling all right, Sanji? What's wrong? Forget him. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares what four place thinks? No! Okay, so they're all worth over a bill. We have four people in our crew that's well over uh, a bill. Well, not well over a bill, over a bill. And this is the only way to make up for Chopper. 1,000 berries? So the government, the marines, they look at Chopper as the utmost nuisance. Like, yo, they look at Chopper as no threat. Straight up, like, fam, you are irrelevant. We're pulling a bounty on you just because you travel with the Chopper. <laughs> just because you travel with the straw hats. I love Chopper. Captain Emperor of the Sea, straw, there we go. Three billion berries, fam. Is it me, boys? Or like, I feel like it should have been a slightly more. Like it was 1.5. And someone told me after, uh, after uh, he defeats Kaido, 
and after uh, the one or arc, I feel like it would be. Well, I would feel like it'd be from three to four, somewhere in between, maybe three five. But I guess it's still not far off, and you could still predict it. I wouldn't expect it to be over four. I feel like that's a bit too much. I don't expect it to be under three. So yeah, it's it's about right. I'm sorry. Please wet me out. Oh man, I'm a fucking food kaido. Fam, you should be feasting his stomach. Yes, I get We are definitely back. We are definitely back. Who are you calling fourth, please? Don't talk back to second. Like you turn into king? They all havoc inside the sunny. Yo, look at that fam. A flame kick. Zovo's going serious. Zovo's got all free swords. <laughs> Zovo! It's got all free swords out. Fuck man. It's so good boys. Empty Bluffs Island. Empty Bluffs Island. New Dexter! Oh, buggy! The cross! The cross! Did you see him? I sure did. Can't believe I just saw the real thing. That was the world's strongest swordsman, Mihawk. When they announced, when they announced the seven warlords were no more, did you see him? I sure did. Can't believe I just saw the real thing. The on about me hawk, right? Did you see him? That's his crew in it, buggies. That was the world's strongest swordsman, yikes. When they announced, when they announced the seven warlords were no more. And all those battleships surrounded us. I thought we were gunners, but I should add more faith in Chairman Buggy. So down about me, Hawk, taking care of the battleships. So they ended up seeing me, Hawk, and all those battleships surrounded us. I thought we were gunners. But I should have had more faith in Chairman Buggy. Just look at him now. Young cone. Hey, buggy boy. <laughs> My boy, buggy. No. How the fuck did this even make sense? Emperor of the sea. Wait, have mercy. Please just spare my miserable life. Please just spare my miserable life. Now don't degrade yourself to that extent. I'll do anything. I lick the mud from your boots. I'll do anything. And now we know he's a Yonko. There's some trick involved, right? Just pay my miserable life. I'll do anything. I'll lick the mud from your boots. There we go. For my warlord, Sir Crocodile, my boy Mihawk, look at that sword, look at that sword, they got Buggy's head, they got Buggy's head, they for my warlord, Sir Crocodile, then how the fuck does he, I just knew there has to be something more to it, it's Buggy, the entire idea for the cross guild organization came from me and Hawker Eyes. How did you get it? <laughs> no, it's true. How the fuck can Buggy lead Crocodile and me Hawk? There's a catch. On my life, there's a catch. How did you get labelled the boss, Buggy? I don't know what to say, other than I'm sorry. Or maybe better luck next time. You're the first man to rise to the rank of Emperor. 
by saying I'm sorry. You're the first man to raise to the rank of emperor by saying I'm sorry, and by my blade, you'll be the last Mihawk. Only death. <laughs> By my blade, you'll be the last. Only death can right this wrong. Boys, find me a sexier man than him. I knew there's some catch to this, you know. How did you get labeled the boss? Former warlord Dracul Mihawk, former warlord Sir Crocodile. The word humiliation doesn't even. <laughs> Crocodile! It's true! Your boss is me, is me, is buggy! How do you live with that? Crocodile! The word humiliation doesn't even begin to describe this feeling. Please don't kill me. That's not an option. So let me figure this out. We want to get rid of Buggy. Now we know Buggy's the leader, right? So they must make some sort of agreement in a sense, right? So now they're fixated on killing Buggy. But we know Buggy is their boss. So what takes place? Look at that picture, yo. Only death can right this wrong. Some villain saga shit. <laughs> Boys, this is so good. May I just go? Oh, my boy number three. May I just say, boss, that it is so delightful to be in your service once again. Galdino, are you stabbing me in the back after all this time? Obviously, he's shitting himself. You can't blame him. I was never like <laughs> that. <laughs> you can't blame him. You can't. I was never working for you at any point, buggy. Poor man. Poor chairman. Rest in peace. Mihawk? Carrying the head crocodile? The crew number three? Poor chairman, rest in peace. What do, what do we do now? We follow crocodile? It's a cold world out there. But don't you need to form a crew? If you kind of afraid, I can't imagine me Hawk being that person. It's a cold world out there. Me Hawk in deep four. Gloom Island. There go the privileges of being a warlord. Hawk eyes. So a flashback, there go, the, there go the privilege of being a warlord, hawk eyes. What do you want to do? What do you want, crocodile? The privilege of being a warlord is now gone because uh, Fujitova abolished the system. So now, what do you want, crocodile? So now me hawk and crocodile are talking. So now they must be talking about, oh man, maybe we need to get together. But I still don't explain where the fucking buggy come from. The Navy has this island surrounded at the moment. Dad, this is what we remember of me, Hawk. The Navy has this island surrounded at the moment. I need to pick up and move base bothersome as it may be. So he wants to get rid. He wants to live in isolation in a sense. The navies are around me. I need to move. Then crocodile talks. Then come over to my side. It's not a bad deal. With our name value combined, the navy will have to sit up. Oh, there we go. 
It makes sense. You were known as the naval hunter once upon a time. You were known as the naval hunter. It's on the Bami Hawk. The Navy Hunter. This man hunts the navies. This man hunts the navies. Ah! Then how did he become a warlord? If you're hunting navies, how does that make you? Zoro the Pirate Hunter! Me, I said this as a joke three, four chapters ago! He was literally a Navy Hunter! Can they make him a warlord? Because they were scared. So they gave me all privileges. That's too bad ass to even think of if it's true. They were so terrified of me hawk hunting the navies. So they thought, let's pay me hawk. Let's get that guy on our side. Once he's on our side, he can't hunt navies, marines. He, look at this, Zoro, the bounty, the, the pirate hunter, Mihawk, the marine hunter. This is going to be probably the best ever fight. We're talking Luffy Kaido's level. If this fight ever saw to ever take place, you are known as the naval hunter. Boy, this might sound so stupid, boys. Naval, naval. I mean, like, this, is, this translation buzzing. That means navy, right? I don't know. I just don't see navies being translated as naval. Or, or, or am I just tripping? What else can that possibly mean? In terms of this distrust for others, we have at least one thing in common already. In terms of distrust for others, we have at least one thing in common already. Basically, Crocodile, you don't trust, you can't sleep at night knowing who's around. I can't do the same. So at the moment, we have one thing in common. That is that we find it hard to trust people, hence why he is always alone. They put <laughs> <laughs> the, the hats on! Obviously this was a flashback in it! So he's in four, boggy, glare stares at him, he's scared, boggy, Captain Boggy, turn around and fight the Navy! <laughs> the, the Navy! They've come! Boggy man! How does this man do it? Turn around and fight? Are you afraid of the Navy? Leave me alone. I'm trying to make my Skedadalin plans. All the battleships around the island, they're under attack. Mihawk! And it was the beginning of the chapter, right? When they were talking about me, walk. Please let the next panel slap. Please let the next pa page slap. The Navy is the sinking left and right. Really? What he was in <laughs> Man, the Navy Hunter boys. That's so dope. There, look, boys. The ships are blasted. Really, what hero is doing this? There! Crocodile! Yo, look how fucking friendly he looks here. 
It's crocodile. So the rumors were true. Crocodile is chairman Boogie's henchman. And now he's come to rescue us in our hour of need. All thanks to you, Che. See how Boogie, his followers are so deluded. Like everything that, like, fam, it wasn't even Boogie's fault. Also, it's Crocodile, huh? He laughs, Boogie. He's come to collect all the money I owe him. So hold on, the Marines come for Buggy. Buggy was in danger. Crocodile comes, assists him. And they are thinking, hold on, he works for Buggy. Why else is he here to help? That's not the case. Crocodile is not here to help. But he goes, he's here to collect all the money I owe him. What I'll do, I don't have that kind of cash. This is even worse for me than the <laughs> Boys, I'm being truthful. I don't remember this. You might have to remind me. If any mod watching this, message me. At what stage in the story did uh, Quackdale ever get money from him? He's come to collect all the money I owe him. What I'll do? I don't have that kind of cash. This is even worse for me than the, the Navy. But why would Crocodile in God's, in God's name Bother buggy money? You know, if it's not admirals, if it's not admirals, I would rather have the navy after me than crocodile. <laughs> That's so true. Any boys, think about it. Okay, if it's a canoe on board, okay, then I'm scared. But fam, crocodile's terrifying. I know you well enough to assume you tried to fly the coop. How did he know? Listen, Boggy's delivery might seem widely profitable, but the overhead, but the overhead, I have so many mouths to feed, and the giants who were our biggest earners just left. The giants. They bounced. If you can't pay up, I can always sell you into slavery. But I have so many mouths to feed and the giants who are our biggest earner just left. So basically the buggies delivery services, uh, we're not making as much. So we can't. Ah, oh. then, then. It, then is it because of this that he owes him money? No, they, that don't make no sense. If someone doesn't owe you money, you're not gonna make them your leader. What the fuck? If you can't pay up, I can always sell you into slavery. Whoa, whoa, let's not be nasty. Come on, we as can do that. Buggy, this man's too good. This man's too good. Look at him! Come on, man! You can't say that! Remember him pulled down, Crocodile! <laughs> we skipped him pulled down together, remember? Crocky, baby! And if you can't pay back the money, I was nice enough to lend you after that. You need to make it up to me. How the fuck can he make it up to you if he is the leader? I'm starting up a new company. And I mean funds. <laughs> Bucky, <laughs> this man. <laughs> how does he? How does he get in the middle of all this? How? I'm starting up a new company, and I mean funds. He's like, oh man. Hey, 
I know, let me help out with your business. Believe it or not, I'm a former warlord. And I'll be your errand boy. Basically, I'll be like a slave. And I said, you tell me what to do, what to clean. I'll do it. I'll be yours, your supporter. I'll work off my debt. You got to give your new company <laughs> Stop. Stop. I'll work off my debt. You got to give your new company a flashy public debut, right? I got all kinds of guys working for me. Boys, I catch in all of boogie. Let's be honest. Advertising, design, printing, distribution. We can do it all. Use our services all you want for free. I'm not even going to lie. This trying to, this trying to sound like a good idea. Look, advertising, design, printing, distribution. We can do it all. Use our services all you want for free. So keep utilizing what he can offer to the extent that it's worth the money he owes you. <laughs> Here they boys. Yeah, do that. Do that, Pakistan. And your genius idea for a flyer was this. What we seen in the last chapter. And your idea for a flyer was this. Mighty lofty spot. You <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> he made himself boss! He made himself boss! And your genius idea for a flyer was this! Mighty lofty spot! You are <laughs> occupying their boss! No! What a fucking chapter! No, you don't understand. That's not what I needed. In it, think about it. You look at this. Who do you think is boss? Buggy? Who do you think of our second in command? Crocodile and Mihawk? He got a mighty lofty spot. You are occupying there, boss. Reading that has killed me. What did you intend? If not lies and fraud, then he hits Buggy. Pooh. Dad grabs his head. Dad, now we're back to where we were. It wasn't on purpose. I swear. It's my employees. <laughs> Stop! Stop! It's not Buggy's fault! It's not! It's true! It's my employees, they simply worship me. It took me by surprise as much as you. Buggy is innocent in making this poster. His followers are so loyal to Buggy that indeed they would make such a flyer. Hey, what's the deal with that poster? I put you there. <laughs> Buggy! Buggy's innocent! What's with the deal with that poster? I put you in the cruelly spot chair, man. He gets angry. Look at his eyes. We already distributed him. <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> there! It's too late! It's too late! We already distributed it to every market across the world. Yo, this chapter. This boggy figure was the ringleader of the Impal Down mass breakout. Navy headquarters. Did they see this? We already distributed every market across the world. Then you see the Navy headquarters. So they, they, they are seeing this. And he started off of the king of the <laughs> Shanks and Buggy. He wants to show that. Ah! Oh, this is why! This is why! Right! 
This is why he is a Yoko! It is! Because of his followers! It's because they made this and the Navy fell for it! His thoughts of King of Pirates crew? He wants to together shoulder to shoulder with the Emperor Red. Shoulder to shoulder with the Emperor Red hair. Yet this dude shoulder to shoulder, but don't you dare compare Buggy and Shanks are like are they on the same level play? <laughs> Stop! Stop! Hey, like the way I read this, the way I read this is that they kind of level on uh, ground. I know what they mean, that they travel shoulder to shoulder, right, with Roger. But I don't know why, I kind of look at that and feel like they compare him Buggy to Shanks. He commands so much respect, the evil crocodile rushed to his aid, I empty. It's because of the money! You got it wrong! You fuckers got it wrong! It's there for the money! They're thinking because of his influence! This is all a misunderstand! We've intercepted signals that confirm Quark. Oh my god. Mihawk being a Yonko is the biggest fraud in fiction. The Navy hunters already have, fun have funding for many criminal groups. In the world's current state of insurrection, this cross guild will prove to be a major... They're not wrong! They are not wrong! So you can see why they'll make Yonko buggy buggy a Yonko! But it's a big misunderstanding! What are their bounties? We can see Crocodile Bounty! Former Warlord of the Sea, Sir Crocodile, based on his logia powers, intelligence and leadership. Oh! It's almost two! It's almost two! If it is two, shouldn't we hope be more? De Hawk eyes me hawk, former warlord of the sea, with greater swords. <laughs> <laughs> You're damn right! You're fucking damn right! Destroy his swords, man! As the strongest swordsman in the world, he is oh! it's more, more than Luffy! More than Luffy! More than Luffy! Let's go! More than Luffy! Luffy just defeated Kaido! Let's fucking go! Intelligence, leadership, so he's almost two. Hawkeye's former warrior of the sea with greater sword skill than a new. But Shouldn't this come as no surprise? You don't be called the strongest swordsman and another person's got better sword skill than you. That don't mean you're stronger. What Kaido said, Haki has power over all. You have the strongest Haki, you don't need a powerful devil fruit. We know Shanks is Haki from a few chapters ago. So this does not prove me Hawk is stronger than Shanks. Let me get that out there. But for them to fought together before. So obviously maybe Miho can stand up to Shanks. 3.59 billion berries. Because of the Navy Hunter. In it. He must have caused so much threat to the government. But then again, he was a warlord. So was, did he become a warlord? Because they were afraid of him. They didn't. They made him into a warlord for him to stop hunting navies. Let's get one thing straight. Luffy defeated Kaido. 
Look at the havoc he caused in Wano. And this man, which we feel like lives in isolation, he's got a bounty higher than him. Shanks, you can make an exception in a way. He traveled with Roger. What can you say about Mihawk? I think this is the most legendary point. What has he done other than sail alone? Yeah, he was at Marine Ford, but uh, like, uh, there's nothing to kind of push his bounty to this other than the sole fact how much of a threat he is to the government because of what he did in the past, hunting navies. Buggy the genius just that on top of his prior feats, he has the power to command. No, he don't. <laughs> In the whole chapter and everything so misunderstood Lord have mercy Blocky Blocky Free Bill Free Bill No That's understandable though in Pal Down he was with Roger so much stuff he has done that would give him free bill. But the nod, high the nod, higher the number does not definitely mean they are stronger. You know, back earlier when watching One Piece, I always fell into that. That the higher the, uh, the, uh, the berries, the stronger the individual is. But obviously, as you watch One Piece more, or shall I say read One Piece, you know that's not true. It's a bigger threat to the government. You can be such a bigger threat to the government by not being physically strong, but awareness, like uh, one step ahead. Alongside Straw Hat Luffy, he is now an emperor of the sea. A figure who poses a clear and present danger to the world government. Because of them flyers that his people sent, they looked at that and kind of assumed he is leader of Crocodile and Mihawk. And look at you now, Emperor of the Sea. I think you are hot. You are, you are hot stuff. You think you are hot stuff, don't you, clown? It's not Buggy's fault. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Let me start thinking of it. Oh, God. Oh no! All this in one chapter! How insane is, is the manga? But depending on how you think about it, it may not be the worst idea to have him take the spotlight. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be an emperor. Look at this! This is why he's going with the plan. He can easily become a Yonko. It's like Gorp. Gorp can easily become an Admiral, but he does not want to become an ad Admiral because he doesn't want to be closer to the Celestial Dogs. He can easily become an Emperor. He can easily have the spotlight of spotlights, but he prefers not to. He prefers to live alone in isolation, do what he pleases. That's the gloriousness of me, Hawk. I prefer a quieter life. A marine hunter. Are you serious? Let him take the brunt of the attention so they can do what they do behind the scenes. And if he becomes inconvenient, we can... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so true. It makes sense. It makes sense. Think about it, boys. He'll be getting the spotlight and they too can work in the shadows. 
That's a good point, Crocodile finally agrees. Smirks. Listen up, you swabs. In order to adapt to the coming new era, I have established the Cross Guild. Here's a look at our chief officers. This is how the Cross Guild is built. This is how it's built. Him becoming a Yonko was pure flipping. Like, uh, it wasn't true. Like the information, but you see how they got fooled because the flyers that were sent across the world, they made it seem like, oh man, he's in charge of Crocodile and Buggy. That too, he was with Roger. That too, he escaped in Pile Down. Buggy is a real threat. Any boys? They, wow, Sir Crocodile. Look, Chairman Buggy is crying. Where is my life? <laughs> <laughs> me too it's the best day of my life master me hawk what a fucking title come back our queendom grand line don't think too hard revolutionary army boys don't think about it too hard don't think too hard about it koala Look on the bright side. Sabo is just fine. You are right. I'm glad everyone's okay. Now the question is, where is Vivi? Did they take Vivi with them? Exactly. There! I my God! Bam! It's been a while! Exactly celebrate the miracles when you have the chance. Hee-haw. You're going to pay for making us worry so much, Sabo. I know it happened after we parted ways, but I still believe in Sabo. Sabo would have not done that. He would have definitely not killed him, fam. Oh, hey, I was just about to say that you always take the good comments first. Pipe down. You're all so annoying, but full on revolutionary army, boys. We don't see Crocodile though, innit? Not Crocodile, Dragon! <laughs> I meant Dragon! Boy, spoiler alert! Crocodile joins the Revolution Army! <laughs> My mind is still on Crocodile and York. Dragon! The next panel was Dragon! Dragon? Sabo is just fine, but if it's true that he killed King Cobra, there will be a reckoning between us. He does not trust Sabo! You would only pose the question if you have doubt. Man, we know Sabo wouldn't kill uh, Cobra. We know it, fam. You should trust Sabo more. But obviously being the world's most dangerous man and the leader of the revolutionary armies, I guess this is a type of way you have to act. He would have not killed him. He would have not. Trust me, boys. They are afraid. They want people to rebel against Sabo. And obviously the people of Alabasta would. So that's why they made it out to be like, oh, he killed him. Really, they're one of their own that must have killed him. It's a sell-up, man. You can see it. Kuma! Kuma! Tell me, Kuma, what is it that you've seen? Dear and Mary Joyce, when he was being a lapdog, when the celestial dragon was riding him, as you command. Look, he's still like a robot. As you command. Like he's not talking on free will. The koala gets upset. So we indeed did free him. Phone call. I'm picking up a call. They're ha not hacking, man. What do you call it? They're tracing the call. They're hearing it. 
I'm picking up a call to come back a queen dumb. It might be flame, emperor, sabo. Record and trace the signal. They, if they do, they know exactly where we are. Quiet down, everyone. Hello, Koala. Hello, Koala speaking. Yeah! Sabo! It is Sabo! The Navy are hearing this right now. It's finished. Let me see the color. New Emperors was the title. New Emperors. We are the new Emperors. Anyway, we were the new Milk was a young girl. Anyway, let me see the color. Oh! <laughs> no! Cross Guild was supposed to be on the me and Hawk. Why? Cross Guild was meant to be me and me Hawk's decision. Where the fuck did you come from? So tell me why are you considered the boss buggy? I can't do anything about it, but apologize. It really isn't a big deal or anything. You're probably the only person in history to become an emperor. <laughs> That is so funny! Any? It's true! Having you die here wouldn't even begin to make up for this mess. This is beyond insulting. I can't find the words for it. Please spare me. Don't make unreasonable requests. Ah, oh, there's no more. Boys, this has to be up there with some of the funniest content we've ever seen. Hands down. Wait for it. Dear Navy Headquarters, and the genius idea for a flyer was this. Might you love this spot? You occupy the ball. Oh. That's so funny! Fucking <laughs> I where the fuck are you in this picture? Oh shit man. That's not what I intended. What did you intend if you if if not lies and fraud? It wasn't on purpose, I swear. It's my employees that simply rushing me, it took me by surprise. <laughs> hey, what's the deal with the poster? I put you to go to Stop! I put you. <laughs> I put you the coolest spot. Look, buggy, you're here. He's like, what the fuck? We already distributed to every to every market across the world. This buggy figure was a ring. They never even asked him. They never asked him, yo fam. Is the is the flyer okay? Do you mind if we distribute it now? They just done it. Then the Navy headquarters sees it and he started off at the King of the Pirates crew. He wants to show the shoulder with red hair shanks. He commands so much respect that even Crocodile rushed to see that that was for money. That's because he owed him with interceptive signals that confirmed Crocodile and me. That is true. They're involved, but they're not with him. I mean, uh, as, as you guys are thinking, the Navy hunters already having have funding from many criminal groups. In the world's current state of insurrection, this cross guild will prove to be a major threat to us. You know, you know, if you're part of the Navy and this comes across you, you'll think the same. And what about their bounty? Former world of the sea crocodile, based on his luxury power with intelligence and leadership, 1.9. Boys, this has to be the most bad asses thing ever. Fam, we rarely ever see me hawk in the story. Yet his bounty is closer to 4 billion than it is to 3 billion. Greater sword skill than Shanks. Obviously, if it was just a plain sword fight, me hawk would beat Shanks because he's the greatest swordsman, the title is given to him. But you have to remember, one that has stronger Haki is indeed the stronger part person. And we know Shanks' Haki is insane as the strongest swordsman in the world. Fam 3.5, more than Monkey D. Luffy, fam. Oh. 
Of course, because he used to hunt navies. Hunting navies is the you're gonna get a severe bounty, fam. Boogie the genius just on top of his feet. He has the power to command those. Look at this. Okay. Buggy, he commands a man that's worth 3.5 billion, another man that's almost worth 2 billion. Yo, who is this man that's controlling them? Fam, he has, fam we have to make him a uncle. That's the Navy's mindset. 3.189 billion. <laughs> I love Buggy. I love Buggy. I think he poses a clear and present danger to the world government. This man, it's a whole misunderstanding. Let me start licking those boots. But depending on how you think about it, it may not be the worst idea to have him take the spotlight. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be an emperor. I prefer a quieter life. Yo, fam, just reading that, your love. Oh, man, my lights are not even on, fam. Just remember now. There, look. Look, look, look how be beautiful this is. Fam, he could, fam, you have me hook wanting to become a young girl. He can. But he chooses the life that all of us dream to live, just a, a, a quiet life. A pirate hunter, a marine hunter. The pirate hunter goes up to the marine hunter for assistance to help the yoffam train me. Yo, boys, when me Hawk and Zovo eventually do fight, yo, I can't even imagine the hype, honestly. This has to be the funniest chapter ever. Hold on, let me see the money thing again. <laughs> that that cracks me up so much. So crocodile comes to assist him. Not assist, but he like okay, he destroys the navies. And now he has come to rescue us in our hour of need. So the rumors were true crocodile is henchman, is Boggy's henchman. It's all thanks to you, Chairman Boggy. So it's crocodile, huh? He's here to collect all the money I owe him. What I'll do, I don't have that kind of cash. This is even worse for me than when the hell did he give him money, man? This must have been before like time skip, in it. I must say time skip, I feel like I would have remembered. I know you well enough to assume you try to fly the coop. You know, I feel like some, like, the colour pages, I feel like their translation sometimes is better. I know this is official, right, but does official always mean better? I know you well enough to assume you try to fly the coop. How did you know? Listen, Buggy's delivery might seem wildly profitable, but the overhead, I have so many mouths to feed, and the giants who were our biggest earners just left. If you can't pay up, I can always sell you into slavery. Well, let's not be nasty. Come on. Let's get <laughs> I like his. I like his language. His lingo. Whoa, whoa. Let's not be nasty, fam. Come on, man. Remember, we escaped in fell down, yo. And if you can't pay back the money, I was nice enough to lend you. After that. You need to make it up to me. I'm starting up a new company. I need funds. Crocodile Gold. Yo, I'm starting a new company. Company. I need funds. I know. Let me help out with your business. Believe it or not, I'm a former warlord. And I'll be your errand boy. I'll work off my debt. You got to give your new company a flashy public debut, right? I got all kinds of guys working. From advertising, design, printing, distribution. We can do it all. Use our services all you want for free. And your idea. <laughs> And your genius idea of a flyer was this? Man, you love this spot, you are copyrighted. I can imagine that, like, in the anime. I want to hear his voice when he says that. 
No, you don't understand. That's not what I intended. What did you intend, you bitch? If you if you lies, if not lies and fraud, it wasn't on purpose. I swear, it's my employee. They simply worship me. You took me by surprise as much as you did. You buggy speaking the truth. Hey, what's the deal with that poster? I put you in the closet. <laughs> The Navy sees it. We already distributed the costume. <laughs> Look at his face. No Apollo stitch. This buggy figure was the ring lead of Impel Down Mass Breakout. And he started out by the King of the Pirates crew, then he went about the buggy's history basically. Now we have the Crockett Lime Hawk on the rim. He's a threat. Look at this man. Boys! Wow, fucking chapter! You would have thought! But then again, you always get bounties, right? After an arc, when it ends, we got Luffy's bounty, we've got the rest bounties, so the bounties are to be expected. But to see the cross gale come into, into light, how we came into to light, the deceivements and everything, it's genius! It's pure genius, fam! Sabo is indeed innocent. Sabo never killed him. They now Sabo talk. Now they're tracing the line. So they gonna know exactly the pinpoint. What is it that you've seen? So obviously Kubo must have seen some horrific shit over there. As you command. Look like he's still talking like he has no authority in the matter, no freedom of choice. As you command, like literally, when a slave, when someone whips someone, so much to the extent that they so they just they just only can obey, they can't disobey. I look at Koala's face; she feels it. Then a trace to call. Then there, it's me, Sabo. New emperors. I feel like that title's wrong. That sword, boys. And look how long it is, yo. Better sword skill than Shanks. Yeah, don't come as a surprise. You don't be able to title the strongest swordsman and you don't have better swordsmanship skills than someone that's not titled the strongest, strongest swordsman. You feel me, boys? But you don't mean he's stronger. Remember, boys, what Kaido said, I'm never, ever going to forget it, boys. <clears throat> Never ever. One that possesses the strongest haki is the strongest uh, fighter in a sense. It is damn true. So from what we know, Raja had no devil fruit. Mihawk has no devil fruit. Shanks has no devil fruit. It does not mean they on a day can't beat people with the most OP of devil fruits. You have to remember, even Blackbeard has two devil fruits. But if he confronts them on the stronger haki. What the what would that what would the kind of would the result be in a sense? Surely two devil for fruits is gonna be that would that kind of make Blackbeard like is Haki not as strong but yet so deadly because of the two devil fruits he possesses, the darkness and the like the quake. Ain't it? Where the fuck has Blackbeard been, man? Like from young seen this man for so long. Who would have thought the first chapter after one of us finished is been a chapter that make you be in stitches from the way the chapter began the Luffy being in his impel down in a sense You're treating a yonko the way he is from the whole cross guild took him with Kuma the, uh, and Sabo in it pure genius man dude uh, love boys fam and uh, like I said I tried working I try like we know within uh, First day Friday, I try my best to in two chapters, fam. And uh, hopefully I can squeeze Blue Lock in. If not tonight, I'll definitely do it before the next episode. It drops, dudes. Okay, love boys, fam. Hope everyone's blessed, yo. Loved ones, family, all in good health, yo. You get me, dudes. And yeah, inshallah, boys. I'll catch you guys uh, soon enough. Love, dudes. What's up, YouTube? Uzumaki Khan here. Welcome to chapter 1059. Live reaction. Of the one piece, yo. Let's go, boys. Dudes, Moki got your message. Just to answer your question, we never seen the deal with Boggy 
and crocodile before this chapter. Also, naval hunter is navy hunter, like you said. Yeah, I fought. I fought the buggy and crocodile. The money situation would have indeed been a cover, uh, you know, like a, a cover, a, a cover page, like we bought with the flag. But apparently, it's not the money thing that happened. It was the first time everyone found out during that chapter, right? It never happened before. I thought I'd just say that. But I was thinking, if that indeed happened, and that too after time skip, I'm surely that's something I would have not forgot. You know what I mean? But anyway, boys, let's go. 1059. Show us where Luffy is going, fam. Come on. Pop. Oh, yeah, no title. There. Ah! Got the groovy punched oven! When they team. Oh, the gas. The Caesars. <laughs> of course! Of course! There! The gas is making them fight! Holy shit, some. That deadly ass gas, isn't it? They're the fighting each other. So German and flipping uh, Caesar doing bits here. Come on, let's go, boys. Near white, near white beard's hometown, Sphinx, the new world. Well, so long, thanks for the white. What are you gonna, what? You aren't gonna join our crew, Marco? Is that Shanti's ship? You aren't gonna join our crew, Marco? Don't be crazy. I've spent enough of my life babysitting big time pirates. Fuck, Shanks is offering you a place on his ship. How the fuck do you refuse? I spent enough time on my ship babysitting big time pirates. Whatever, I'm not a handful. It is. Whatever, I'm not a handful. Tell him back. He's a handful he loves. Can you imagine if Shanks had the audacity to say this if Whitebeard was alive? Because that's Whitebeard's son, right? In it. <laughs> Now, boy, Shanks will get the foot up his ass. You know how big White Bear's foot is. In it. Think about it. He goes, You're taking my son, Shanks. Marco, see you later. Earlier in time in Wano, so we gone back. Oh, you're not going with us? Come on, let's be pirates together. You can't do to us this to us, Yamato. And uh, you're not going, you're not going with us. So is this straw hats telling Yamato to come? So Yamato herself refused. You know what happened, don't you? This what? When we were sitting after the Admiral uh, ran away. When the woodsman attacked, it was someone there. So she's afraid of what will happen to Wano without her presence. This is the best thing she can do. When the Moodsman attacked, it was someone incredible hacky that kept him at bay and saved the country. Kaido's not around anymore, but next it'll be guys like him come. This is what I said during the anime days, during the anime episodes. I'm right. It makes sense in the One Piece world for her ass to stay in Wano. Let's forget what we want. Let's go what makes sense, right? Because think about it, if it wasn't for Shanks, the scabbers would have all got bad. Then Luffy and Jinbei and Zova would have to participate. Yamato using her head for once. 
But next time it'll be guys like him coming after Wano. I can't just turn my paw. Look at this. We love you more. We love you more because of this decision. You can't go adventuring if you got worries in the back of your mind, right? That goes for me and you. In it. Like, yo fam, when Luffy first went onto the boat all them years ago, like fam, there was nothing kind of stopping him. Mentally, he was ready. She's mentally not ready for this step. In it, you become more like Odin by staying than leaving. I want to be part of the crew. Go look at them. <laughs> They shouldn't be shown in Wano. I want to be part of the crew. Call me your crew mate. Look how jiggly she is, man. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But I guess this way is more reinsured. That is true. Luffy's not saying things like, no, you're coming with us. Luffy is like, we can sail the seas. We can go to our islands. But in the back of her, knowing Wano is somewhat safe because of your presence. You're ah, man. It's beautiful! You know when you read the page, boys, and you know the page makes utmost sense. And that too, it, it, it sits it, like well within you. It's beautiful, fam! Nothing on this page you look at and you're like, oh man, no, this shouldn't have happened. That should have this all makes sense. Take care of Momo and the others for us then. I will. I wonder who her mom is, man. Take her mom and others for us, then I will. Just remember that Momo's got a lot of pride, Yamato. Samurai all do. I know I'm going to search for something to keep myself busy. Crying, Yamato. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Yeah, my boy Marco! Hey, Straw Hat, there's a ship nearby that'd be perfect. For oh, come on! You should just say it. But then again, he knows it's Shanks, ain't it? Luffy knows it's Shanks. There's a ship nearby that'd be perfect for me to hit your ride on. You could fly, Marco. I'm gonna go ahead and bounce soon. I'm gonna go ahead and bounce soon. Fam, that's the lingo people in the UK use. Good to see. I'm gonna go ahead and bounce soon, Marco. So you're leaving, so you are leaving her? Huh? That's right. Now that you think about it, did we speak in one or? Hey, you saved Durving Marine Ford, didn't you? Take Ace's brother, go Jinbei. Thanks. Like now he gets to thank him after so long. Did you, you saved me during the uh, Paramount War, didn't you? He goes, thanks. Then I remembered what happened. He goes, take Ace's brother and go Jinbei. At the time, we all just jumped into action to do it. Why do you suppose that was, Jinbei? It was so long ago, I've completely forgotten. Yo, Jinbei, don't go on like your memories like mine, fam. <laughs> don't go on like you got my memory, yo. It was so long ago, I've completely forgotten. I'm sure Ace is delighted you to see how much since you've grown. No, oh, look how beautiful that is. He laughs. Then he goes, "You think so?" Because he wants to believe. Indeed, Ace is looking down upon him, being happy. He's a Yonko. Luffy done what he can to save him. Impel down, Marine Ford. There should be no, like, regret. He done everything possible, fam. Any. 
There's a difference. If, if he tried saving someone and never tried his utmost best, then that person died, then you can live with, with regret, right? Luffy can't. He done what he can. Look how beautiful that picture is. I'm sure Ace is delighted to see how much since you've grown. I'm to see how much you've grown since. You think so? You know he got happy hearing that. Oh man, it's too early boys man. Don't be showing panels like this fam. There he's going. This next era belongs to you guys. So keep your wits about it. Sure, so long. He flying. Something startles him. Island of women. Amazon Lily. Amazon Lily! Fam, how long has it been? Island of women. Amazon Lily. Calm bolt. The damage to the town is severe. It's been ages since men invading us every... Hancock! Obviously the marines! They were after her! Uh, Warlord! Remember before, it's been mentioned in the anime, I'm sure in the manga too, but I remember from the anime, it's been ages since men invaded us so heavily. The navy will always come as long as I am here. Where am I to go? So now she's thinking, for the best of the village, I should leave. This place will turn to dust without Hancock. Ain't it, literally? She's the backbone of this place. Sigh at this point. Oh, look how beautiful she looks, fam. I just... <laughs> Oh yeah, her obsession was with Luffy. Remember, damn, literally the fam forgot, forgot completely about her and the old woman fam, remember? And them uh, two sisters, remember when Luffy was covering the back? I just want to be married to Luffy. You mean at every point? Man, after Gear 5, man, I'm fucking Mary Luffy. Weeks earlier, they the Marines, fam! They attacked! We've breached the gate. And the Kuja are fighting back. The pirates. Send the new Seraphim pacifist, pacifistas to the fore. Send the new Seraphim pacif pacifistas. Kumas. Send the new Seraphim pacifistas to the fore. Navy headquarters, Vice Admiral Yamakaji. Hancock, Hancock refuses to show herself. Please activate the recording cameras. They're gonna make sure she comes out right. Now all cost fam. But then again, boys, let's be straight up, man. As long as there's fucking no admiral here, Hancock will wipe the floor with these dudes. Hancock's a roaring beast, fam. So when it's before he said weeks earlier, Hancock was okay. But then I'm sure, like, like, fam, it should not be a problem. Please activate the recording cameras. Who is that? I can't fight a little girl her size. She looks like... Ah! A little girl! That's not Hancock! Fire! Wings! Ah! Who is that? Can't fight a little girl her size? Chapter, she's so strong plus. What is going on? Okay, send a new Seraphim pacifists to the fore. What the fuck's a Seraphim pacifists? Pacifists were coomers, fam. 
Navy headquarters Vice Admiral Yamakaji, Hancock refuses to show herself. Please activate the recording cameras. Who is that? I can't fight a little girl her size. Chap that she's so strong plus. So the, na the, the Navy, the Navy Center is a la pacifista. It does say new pacifista, right? The new Seraphim pacifista to the fore. That looks like Hancock, but that does not look like Hancock. Wings! Fab King! They look like new Navians! Hold on! There are no new Navians alive! There's no Lunavians alive! King! He did get experimented on! Why am I watching, reading? That looks like Hancock, but that don't... Hancock on a pacifista! Fuck knows. <laughs> Watch your stern, old battleships. Huh? What's that? Be careful on shore. We've got pirates. Pirates. Who? Oh! Blackbeard! Blackbeard! Oh! They're here! They're here! Blackbeard pirates! Hold on! Then, ain't Hancock gonna be saved? Because the Marines are scared of Blackbeard! Blackbeard is here! The Blackbeard, Emperor Blackbeard and his crew have just showed up. They are afraid. It's a sea quake, you fucking devil, white beard devil fruit. The Neptunians are going to notice he, he laughs. They are, I've come for your, oh, the devil fruit, the devil fruit, this fat fuck, Any? that's what he's here for, that's what he's here for. What else do you want to do with Hancock? What else? I come for your pirate empress. I won't let the This fucker! How much devil fruits can this man take? He already has his. He has white beards. Now we want in order to get the devil fruit. She must die! Right! You can't take a look what happened to Whitebeard! He died! So obviously, it's way too far-fetched. Him coming to a place like Hancock's Amazon Lily at a time where the Marines attacking a part of you feel a hold on, maybe they're here to assist, but these dogs don't know anything other than cruelty, stealing. So he came with backup, his crew. Well, uh, Hancock won't be able to win. I won't let the Navy have your power. Hancock, that beautiful face. I love to cut off her head. I love to cut off her head to be my latest treasure. Sickening bastards, she's all yours as long as I get those powers. Come on, don't you want to take her back with us alive so we can be good friends with her? Fam, 
probably the person that suffered the most in her story is Hancock. They were slaves, right? They were looked down upon. There's a reason why there's only women there. And now these dogs want to interfere. Vice Admiral Yamakaji gave us the order to attack Blackbeard. Give, imagine being so foolish to say, give us the permission to attack Blackbeard. Blackbeard. Wait for clearance from HQ. <laughs> Why beard? Why beard? No. The punch. Kaboom. I'm not here for you lot. No, look at that. I'm not here for you lot. Disposes of them. How much, boys? Let's say he takes Hancock's devil fruit. Then he has three devil fruits. Can he have potentially more? Then ain't he too OP? How can he take more than one devil fruit? What is it, dudes? Why is it? It's because of his first devil fruit. Obviously, the shadow, the darkness. Does that allow in some sense when the individual dies and before the devil fruit gets... Remember when Ace died? The devil fruit uh, went somewhere else, right? Then the tournament happened and Sabo won it. Can his devil fruit in some sense, like before the person actually dies or just dies, there's a way he can take the devil fruit before he actually respawns somewhere? Like that, mil that, that millimeter of... That, that's like... The millisecond where the, the heart stops and there's a way he can take the devil fruit. And the Oda didn't want to show us it. Big, that's why uh, White, White Bead was covered up. There is something, fam. Because, yo, fam, him, he, he, him taking powers upon powers upon powers is, is OP. But like we said, right... That does not determine how strong you are. What indeed determines how strong you are is what? Someone tell it. Haki, right? But I'm sure if you have the Shadow Devil Fruit, Whitebeard's Devil Fruit, Hancock's Devil Fruit, the exception of you having strong Haki can be excused, right? In some sense. I'm just saying. Get out of here, Boa Hancock. Go! Kobe! Kobe! It was mentioned right before he was going after Hancock. I don't remember the episode. I suppose it was inevitable that pirates would try to assimilate the former warlord. Kobe, you run! Get out of here! Man, your ass don't stand a chance against Hancock, let alone an island with Hancock and Whitebeard, Blackbeard. Man, value your life, fam. Please, Hancock. The Navy does not want to fight you. Oh, look at him, he's showing the... The Kobe has always been the most respectful, dude. And you know how obsession, how obsessed Luffy was with pirating? He was the same obsession with him and the navies. Because thank God, I read them chapters in it, like 1 to 140, 50 something, where, where, I, where I'm at. And everything, like, you know, it, it ran, like... Balls in my head again. The Navy does not want to fight you. We'll simply take you into custody and leave, I promise. No, she's not gonna go, fam. Even though you're saying it in such a polite, politeful way, let us handle him, sister. The sisters, don't get full of yourself, Kobe, the so-called hero. This is nonsense. I will not belong to any... <laughs> Yo, feminist.
priest will love Hancock. This is nonsense. I will not belong to anyone. I follow no man's orders. Yo, why does that give you goosebumps? Amy, why reading that sends shivers to your body? Man, she looks so good. Don't do it, sister. Save us, Commodore Teach. Nothing works against this one. Hold on. There she hits. Whoa, you kidding me? White hair, brown skin. There it is! It is! Lunarians! When the last time that was said? White hair, brown skin. They've got DNA of Lunarians. They made new Lunarians. That's fucking insane. They're like robots. Hold on. So his people are saying save us. Nothing will. Also, oh, it's not her. This is somebody else. Then obviously it's the Lunarian. You kidding me? White hair, brown skin, black wings. That's Lunarian. That's King. It is. It's King. His people. What gives? Did that one kid beat you all? There! There! King! That's King! That's King! It is! That looks like him! They took the DNA! You feel for King! Twice as much! That's why the experiments were happening! Did that one kid beat you all? So that's him? That's King? King is people? The DNA? Vega Pumpkin? Could this is this is not a failed experiment. The last time we heard the word failed experiment wasn't really a failed experiment. Momonusuke, Momonusuke can make flame clouds. He can do that breath attack. Yeah, it's not strong as Kaido's, but it was not a fail as we thought it was. So then indeed, what he does next scientifically, it's not going to be something that can't be accomplished. What gifts did, did that one kid beat you all? So the new pacifistas fam! Now, now the question is, do these guys have emotion? Do they, can they talk? Like, uh, not like pacifistas, like robots. Can these act like independently in a sense? Did the one kid beat you all? He looks scared. PX. Is that? Oh! The island! The island! The mountain, sorry! The mountain! King! The Lunarian! They're strong! They're strong! Blackbeard is scared! Blackbeard is scared! Ah, oh, that's literally the, the, the main thing of the Amazon Lily. Black 
past it. They've got a little kid, pacifist. Blackbeard actually looks. <laughs> no! Blackbeard! Blackbeard is fighting him! What does it mean? It's huge. These pacifistas are stronger than Blackbeard. What happened to the power scale? Stray Amna Haki, they clash. I'm scared to go on the next page. If I see Blackbeard defeated, or Blackbeard, Blackbeard even hurt! Fuck defeated, fam! Oh, no! Black hole! Blackbeard went serious! Blackbeard went serious! There! He like he swallowed him! But, okay, he's defeated now, right? But that don't mean there can't be more of them. Because the DNA would be endless. Slay them! <laughs> we never seen this in a while. Yo, fam, she can petrify me, fam. Slave arrow. Man, that's so OP. Helmet po yo, my boy! The voice admiral turned to stone. Stop the pacifist. Ah! Sorry, I think I misunderstood. There's two of them, right? Stop the pacifist. Uh, he'll shatter everyone turned. He'll shatter. There you'll die. You'll die. <laughs> you'll die. That's an order. Stop. Go me. Bam. What the fuck? So much is going on. Perfume. Kobe. You have to remember. If these break now. They die. Okay, so if he stops, then they can hear in a sense. Perfect. He laughs, Snake Princess. Duh! He's gone! Her! He's gone! Her! She can't do nothing! He's gonna say, Stop, stop what you are doing! He's nullified her powers! So she can't do anything. Unhand me, you filthy creature. Form a warlord of the sea. 1.6 is Hancock's. The all still in stone, Kobe. So I guess the private empress title wasn't just for show. Black oh! It's all moving for It's all moving for How did they get so high? How did they get so high? Well, well Luffy is understandable There's something else this fucker has done But like the money scene with a uh, crocodile that was off screen. There's no way he's hitting his four bill. Everyone's looking terrified. They turned Kobe. 
I hope he's fucking looking like an admiral, fam. Look what you've done. You turned all my idiots into stone. What? What can I do? Everyone's made of stone now. So she has to unturn it. Everyone's, everyone's in stone. I've been hoping to get your powers. Hmm? This power is nothing without my beauty. Kill me and your followers will win. You kill Hancock. Everyone to everyone stays to stone. It's a beauty that allows it to happen. The next wheel of the food cannot undo the spell. Above Hancock's toughness beyond anything I imagined and you thought you could take on Hancock. Kill me and your followers will remain petrified. The next wither of the fruit cannot undo the spell. But Wankok's stuff is beyond anything I imagined. Hold on, I feel like there's something I'm more on this page that I must have missed. He's nullified her powers. Nullified. So I guess the private empress title wasn't just for a show. Acknowledging the fact that, okay, yo, you're definitely a private empress. Then you see their bounties. Everyone's in stone. What can I do? Everyone's made of stone now. Look what you've done. You turned all my idiots into stone. I've been hoping to get your powers. This power is nothing without my beauty. Kill me and your followers will remain petrified. The next wheel of the food can undo the spell, but one of them is okay. Absorb the everything. This isn't getting us anywhere, is it, Kobe, the hero? You held me out in that rocky port incident. Thanks to you, I was able to topple Wang Z, making me the boss of the private island. Kobe, you have so Kobe assisted Blackbeard in taking over the island which she's currently at. Boys, this might sound stupid, but like I say, I'm first to mention if something's I don't remember something clearly. Who the who was Wang Z again? So Wang Z was the boss of the island before. Blackbeard over to Luffy? No. I just spotted this. Hancock? No, that's beautiful. Look at that touch they had there. Yo, that's deep. Small touches like that. Young man, the Wacky Poor incident. So Kobe assisted Blackbeard. Why the fuck would Kobe assist Blackbeard? Wang Z. If I let this woman go, do you think she'd play nice and turn my men back? I needed to put my men back to normal day. So Kobe and Blackbeard both need they both got something in common right now. They both want Hancock to turn their man to normal. If you both leave without this, she will. But fam, we're talking about Blackbeard. We're talking about Blackbeard. He ain't gonna listen for shit. This man, you can't get more snake than him. He lets you go, you turn the people back. You really think you're freed? Us, the viewers, know how conniving this fucker is. No, you are lying. I let go and you'll turn us to stone next. She won't. Oh, look at her, man. She's all bruised up. And that's the end of it, ain't it? It's impossible for any man not to fall under your spell. Believe me, 
Ephraim, if you let her go and you promise you leave the island, she'll turn all your men back to how they were when they fucking invaded our land. Hancock's that type of woman. But your fucking blackish heart won't let you won't let you see reason, fam. That's why it is, Blackbeard. Well, I guess I have to kill her. No, don't. The human cost. Look at Kobe, fam. Like your fam. That's like Kobe's got beautiful etiquettes. So next page, fam. I refuse to believe it. She ain't gonna die. Oh, I see, I see Rayleigh! I see it! I see Rayleigh! That's Rayleigh! Fuck! You know I expected a naval siege! But not one bold enough to change the shape of the island! Rayleigh has come! I'm sorry for getting here late, Hancock! They're talking really in one man can stop Blackbeard! It's not just one young man! Stop this dog! Dog King Rayleigh? Hey you Whitebeard's cabin boy! Whitebeard's cabin boy! Look how he refers to him! This isn't very mature of me, but I've never liked you anyway. They're right on. <laughs> I like the way they say that. I love the way they say that. Right arm of the pirate king. So this is like Shanks. It's like a Marine Ford incident. Really? What is that? <laughs> Go be gentle, gear five! <coughs> is that Silver's Rayleigh? What? Undo the petrification, Hancock. I'll mediate the situation. Nobody is here to overstep their bounds. Just behave yourselves and quietly leave this island. Watch them leave. Wait a minute. If Rayleigh's on his ones, so I don't want to say something and get it blasted in the fucking comments. I mean, Blackbeard, two devil fruits, fam. Come, Blackbeard, fight Rayleigh. I know he's the right hand man of Roger, but fam, he is old. Now, you can't underestimate these old people, though, fam. Present day, I'm back to normal. So Rayleigh indeed stopped the war. Right, Shanks fam. Not one ball to change the shape of the island. I'm sorry for getting here late, Hancock. Darking, I'm sorry for getting here late, Hancock. So she knew you was coming. This was an appointed time then, but you just came a little later than normal. And remember when Whitebeard died, how upset Vele was? Whitebeard's cabin boy. Look at the way he refers to him. Present day, I'm glad. I'm just glad everyone's alive. Oh no, he's still here. Thank you, Rayleigh. Oh, uh, remember uh, the One Piece fam? The, uh, remember they asked the question about where the One Piece is? She was then Empress of Amazon Lily two generations ago, former Captain Creature Pirates. Empress of Amazon Lily. She was the captain of Hancock's uh, group. Hancock's private crew. Was this mentioned before? Surely not, right? 
And plus Amazon Lily, two generations ago, form Yo fam, she must be no pushover then fam! She was, she was Hancock basically! What Hancock is now! Progress always causes trouble for someone. Vegapunk sea prism stone paddle ships mean the calm belt isn't as safe for us as it was before. The navy siege, the new weapons, Blackbeard's arrival. I thought there was Niall saving us, the old woman. Oh, look at her, she's leaning on him. Look how broken she looks, fam. Like there's no place safe. Their new weapons, Blackbeard's arrival. I thought there was no knife saving us. Quite frankly, it was only the particulars of the situation that made it possible to save her. At my age, yeah, he admits it. There's no way, fam. There's no way he beats Blackbeard. It's true, man, I should have speak my, I should have said what I was thinking. In a head to head fight against Blackbeard, you can't win. It's not like you're in your heydays, fam. It's true. I'm not disrespecting really. I know we fought fucking Kizaru before, but still fam, you gotta give uh, Blackbeard his props. He's in his prime. I don't know about prime, but he's, you know, he's younger. So the Navy thinks those new weapons are a replacement for you, for you war. That's why they abolished the system. That's why they abolished the system. So hold on, the, the system is gone. So they created pacifists from, uh, from Lunarian DNA. So they're like pacifists then. But just with a uh, uh, Lunarian DNA. Even by the end, there wasn't a single scratch on those two. And one of them clashed with Blackbeard. It was strange because I could swear one of them looked identical to our sister as a child. That's Hancock! What the fuck? What is going on? That's Hancock, fam! Man, I'm not dumb! Wow, I don't know what to say. So one of them looks like Hancock, and one of them looks like a fucking Lunavian. Like a uh, king. That's right, we'll proceed to Egghead and dock the ship. As for the abducted Captain Kobe, Abducted, the hero of the Rocky Port incident. Oh! Blackbeard! No! He took Kobe! He took Kobe! He must have fought! I couldn't get Hancock! I'll take your ass instead! Kobe's fucked! I've been kidnapped by the Blackbeard Pirates! Status unknown! He could fucking be dead for all we know! Finished. The matter involving Captain Kobe. Ship nearby, like, give me a lift. So I'll be heading off first. Marco, you're leaving already. Yeah, you say me back in the summit war, right? I never got to say thanks. Jinbei, take Ace's brother and go. Back then we all seemed so ready to spring into action. Makes you wonder why, doesn't it? Jinbei, that was a while ago, you could say. I'm sure Ace will be proud to see how far you've come. Oh, Lord, man. 
Oh, that's so beautiful, man. Please show me the pacifistas in color. For quite a while. And it cut us her beauty. Oh no, show me the power. Okay, boys, I'm sorry, dudes, man. I uh, know, I know what you guys are thinking. You can't, you, you, you got too much brain farts. But family can't blame me when I'm confused, boys, wait. Weeks earlier, we breached the gate. The Kuja are fighting back. Send the new Seraphim pacifists to the fore. Hancock refuses to show herself. Please activate the recording cameras. Who is that I can't fight? A little girl her size. Chapter, she's so strong. Plus, she looks like that is Hancock. Replacing the warlords. Could they have gotten the DNA of the warlords? Oh, wait a minute! Is that me, Oak? Are these warlords? Boys! I'm driving right now. What's up, bro? On chapter one oh five nine, the Lunarian guy is that meant to be? A king's people, or is that me, Hawk? Because of a uh, Hancock look alike. I'm recording. Go on, chapter 159. The Lenium guy is that meant to be king? King's people, or is that me, Hawk? Because of Hancock's look alike. So if that looks like uh, now that you think about it, it does look like me Hawk, right? It does! Then I can we never fucking really ever see me Hawk as a look alike. Hold on. So it is me Hawk look alike. Replacement of the warlords. So all the warlords have been replaced with pacifistas, seraphim. You can't blame me. There's no way you can look at this and think of me, Hawk. What the fuck? So if they can bring back people because of DNA, 
Can't they bring back Roger of some sort? You see, in Hanka, yeah, 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 I've finished it. You seen uh, well. You see what I mean? So then this I mean can't I love the but the thing is this can these guys act independently? Can these guys have free will? Can these guys use hockey? Can these guys use the moves of Hancock? Boys, then the government I mentioned chapter or two ago that the government are breaking down. They're not breaking down. They're becoming more ferocious. Look, they're fucking clashing with Blackbeard. Blackbeard. Of course, this is something we see Mihawk do all the time. Like chopping ships and shit. I don't know what to think. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know, man. I, yo, from, you know, normally I, I don't, like, I feel like, um, I'm, I don't know. If they can clash, are they strong as the former counterparts? Then again, me all would have chopped. No, this is whole shit. This is whole shit. Me all would have chopped his arm off. No, the coward, no, I mean, stop, I mean, I don't mean cowards, me, this would have chopped his arm. Me, Hawk, chops, I mean, clashes with your arm. No, 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 I'll go back to what I originally fought two, three chapters ago. The government are still in a state of crumbleness. Yeah, they're strong, don't get me wrong, but I mean, against fucking, uh, any strong pirates, Kid, Law, uh, Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, us boys. We, I mean, we should, but then again, it's not just about us. One Piece world is so vast that they could cause so much threat to other people. No wonder they wanted to abolish the system. Any fucking think about it? Abolish the system? Because we have uh, uh, these pacifists, what they call Seraphims, Seraphims to uh, take their spot. You seen Hancock look like same deal? Yeah, and it was a random, I thought they were Lunarian people. He had to use black hole to sliver himself out of the situation. And like he went under, then he bounced back out. Oh, he got, he shitted himself in it black hole like a teleport it got out then he then he's still standing hold on this does not prove the fact that he blackbeard got scared But don't you find this a bit too crazy? Ain't it boys, or is it just me? These dudes, the government literally got the warlords as pacifists. Like those fucking Kumat. Kum but that's the thing. How are they do? Can these guys talk? Surely Vega is Vegapunk. 
You see why, boys, when I turn pages, I always zoom in right away. Because I fucking... Rayleigh! When I changed this page, first person I saw was Rayleigh! Because Rayleigh's head is basically on top! Hold on. I like how Shanks came to the war, stopped the war. Like, whoever could have died, never died when he came. Rayleigh came to stop the war. Kobe. <laughs> Kobe gets kidnapped! Yeah, Rayleigh, I came to stop the war! Oh shit! Kobe, you're gone! He's older, man. I'm just making a troll out of it. Don't get serious, boys. A replacement for you, warlords. Even by the end of it was a scratch, it was strange because I could hear. See, boys, I think it's too early to tell. If they are, I mean, you can tell already they're extremely strong. But if they can't use the same moves, like if she, if she can do them fucking arrow things, fam, then she's a threat. If the Mihawk look alike, can chop, like, you know, fight the way Mihawk can fight, then it's gonna be a threat. And the other warlords too. But I don't see this being a threat to the extent where like, that like the, the, that like the pirates would be in danger in some sense, like a big danger. Man, trust me when I say, what I just said right now, I might eat them words so hard later. But like I said, I, I, whatever I see, I give my opinion on what I see. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what's ahead, so I can't talk. Yet, yeah, my mind changed fucking 80% of the time. It does, right? That's right. We'll proceed to Egghead and dock the ship. As for the abducted Captain Kobe... The hero of the... Why is he called the hero? He assisted Blackbeard in taking over the island when Wang, Xi, Wang Zi held it before. But why would Kobe assist Blackbeard? There's something more going on between Kobe and Black... Hold on, fam. This might not be something that... This might not be what we're thinking, you know, boys. This might be something... Because they got a relationship of some sort. They do. The way they mentioned kidnap, yeah, they took him against his will, but it's not as bad as we think. Oh man, I might eat these words again later, but this is what I'm thinking. As a child? But you found, can't they bring back a lot of the dead by DNA then? Any boys, think about it, man. Like, yo, fam, this is my sounds. They don't sound too far fetched. If you could bring back the warlords with the. You can't, okay, is it like this? Can you only bring back those that are alive? Can't you bring back those that are dead? You brought the alive ones back by DNA, right? Can't you bring the ones that are dead back with DNA? But, they were, but the dead won't come back, they'll just be clones of them. Not like be like Edo Tensei, where they literally come alive, but be clones of the ones that are dead. It don't sound too far fetched, in it. Or maybe it does. I don't know. What they call Seraphim. Send a new seraphim past the fisters to the fore. Seraphim. Like I always say, boys, if there's any clues of this being mentioned before, please tell me, guys, okay? So that's Hancock. But with Lunarian DNA of some sort. 
So to get the use lunar, so that's what the whole experiment was done, why it was done. In lunarian DNA and obviously Hancock's DNA because how can you how can you make a look like of some person? This is indeed Hancock. What bastard? Any police? What bastard? What scumbag? That don't belong to you, fam. That's not yours. Me hawk. Me hawk. See what I am? Am I wrong for thinking that? Uh, seeing this, that they the, the bought the dead. I mean, the bought. No, now that you think about, it, I am. I was stupid, because they're gonna have to revive the dead Lunarian with some DN with DNA. No, yeah. Oh, I think I fucked up, boys. I've seen the hoax alive. So they got me hoax DNA that is alive and then usually the Lunarian DNA and put together a boom, kid me hawk is has come. Can they use the DNA from that that are dead and Lunarian DNA boom together wings and now the dead are back in us? I don't know boys. Maybe with episodes with chapters, all will come to light. My one thing I noticed about reading manga, boys, reading a manga has been non-stop hype chap. Like everything's hype, hype. You know, an anime fam. Like after two, three episodes, you get an episode that will be kind of dull. In a manga, there's no such thing. From one thousand and twenty-five, from when I started until now, from every chapter has been something out of out of like craziness, fam. I mean, like in every like good sense, like good sense, that like mad. It's be you, you, it's true, you know. You truly realize the pacing once you make the switch. One chapter covers so goddamn much, while the anime sometimes shows a recap of the of the same episode, like twice. Like remember one One Piece episode, boys. A recap at the beginning of the episode was showed. At the end of the episode, like not last episode, but the very same episode. I love you, boys, fam. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm try getting blue luck in tonight, dudes, fam. If not, then it'll be tomorrow. But I'll, I will try working it out before the next episode, inshallah, dudes. Yeah, guys, fam, love, and I'll catch you on soon as I can, dudes. Love, dudes.